Hello everyone, welcome to Collaboration Coach. It's Matt and in this video I've got some tips for meetings using Microsoft OneNote. These tips will be useful for anyone holding meetings who wants to record what happens in OneNote. First one is how to add your meeting details from Outlook to OneNote. Next one is how to translate text in OneNote to other languages. And the third one is how to record audio straight into OneNote. Let's say I'm setting up a team meeting and I want to add the details of the meeting into a OneNote page. So things like who the attendees are and the time and date of the meeting. So this works when you have Outlook and OneNote installed on the same machine and it works on Windows and Mac. And it's very simple to do. You basically just create your page where you want the meeting notes to be taken. You press the insert button and then you go to meeting details along the ribbon here. And this pane opens up on the right hand side. Basically what it wants you to do is sign into the account that you want to get the meetings from. So I'm gonna sign in with my work account. So if I press sign in with work account, because I'm already logged in, it just passes me straight through, but it may prompt you for a username and password. Once you've done that, you should see a list of meetings on the right hand side here. And you see I've got today's meetings, but I can change the date here if I want to. When I found the meeting that I want, I can just choose it. In this case, it's my 10 o'clock team meeting. And when I press on that, it adds the details of the meeting over here on the page on the left-hand side. You can see I've got the date, the time, the location. I've got an invitation message as well, which is actually uh, collapsed at the moment. If I press this expand, it will show me the details. So that's the, the message that I wrote there. And then we've got the team's details as well. And then further down here, you've got a section that shows you who's invited to the participants. I've got four participants here. Each of these is clickable, so it's an emailable link. If I click on that top one, it will create a new email for Megan. And then I also can email the meeting notes. So if I want to, I can click on that link, which will then create an email that will be sent to all of the participants with a link to the OneNote file. So if they want to contribute or review the notes later, they have a link to the notes. And then all I need to do then is just make the notes. So I can start typing down here and I can add my actions and whatever I need to. So that's how you add meeting details to a OneNote page. This next tip is translation. Imagine you had a meeting or you're about to have one and there's some notes in another language and you want to be able to translate that into your own language so you can understand what the gist of the notes are. This might be useful during or after a meeting depending on when you have the notes in front of you. Translation in OneNote is really simple. You can either come to the View tab and then go to the Translate button or you can actually select the text that you want to translate and you can choose the translate option from the menu that drops down. When you hit translate, you'll see the translator pop up on the right hand side and you see you've got two tabs, you've got selection and page. Selection is just the, the part of the page that you selected, but you can also translate the whole page. In this case, I'm going to just translate a selection. You can see this is the language that I'm translating from and to it's detected automatically that that's English. And now it's asking me which language I'd like to translate it to. Now it's, it's pulled up French because that's one I've chosen before, but you can drop this menu down and scroll through all the different languages that are available and choose the one that suits you. When you've chosen your language, you just need to either insert, which will copy over the existing text. So if I go insert now, you see it replaces what's already there. If I just, I take that back. You can also just do a couple of lines down and insert the French translation below. So you've got both in front of you. Uh, now you also notice that as I hover over any of these words, um, the translation of the individual words are added to the bottom. So if I just wanna quickly understand what a particular word was rather than do the whole translation, I can actually just hover over and it will show me the translation here at the bottom. 
The other option you've got here is page. So if I choose the page, it again will ask me what language I want to translate from and to. But when I hit translate, it actually creates a new page here. So under the original, it's created a new one which has the translation into the language of my choice. Now this last tip is for audio recordings. So say you're in a meeting where you want to record the audio, you can use this audio button on the insert menu to do that. When you press audio, it's gonna start recording everything that the computer hears. So if I press audio now, you'll see the ribbon here changes and the tab at the top says recording. So I'm actually recording now and below in the page here, you can see we've got this icon here that says kick off. So this is the audio recording that I started. So anytime I wanna play back the audio recording, I just hit this icon here. So you can see the seconds ticking away here. That's the recording time. So when I hit stop, you'll see the ribbon changes and I'm back to record and play. So if I wanna play this, I just click on it, hit play, and it will play that back for you. Now, obviously, you could have many of these on the page if you wanted to, and you can cut, copy, paste, and even open that file with another player, like Windows Media Player or something like that. So audio is, is really useful if you want to record meetings that you're having. Obviously, you shouldn't do it without letting everybody in the meeting know that you are doing it. All right, so that's your three tips for meetings with OneNote. I hope that helps. Please let us know how you use OneNote for meetings in the comments and I'll see you next time.